Mass media is a very fuzzy term. A lot of people tend to limit what counts as mass media to things like books, magazines, radio, television, film, and the internet. And of course that's absolutely correct. But we often make it seem as if all of those individual categories somehow belong to a single institution, as if the word media is somehow a coherent whole uh, that's all connected. But in fact, they're not connected uh, as cleanly as we would think. And the means of disseminating the information are hotly competed over by numerous institutions that use these media with all kinds of different purposes in mind. So the government uses media in a way that's much different than private business, for instance, or educational enterprises use media much different than um, entertainment enterprises. So there really isn't a single catch-all definition. Now, to things like books, magazines, newspapers, radio, television, film, and the internet, we need to add all kinds of other things. And I'm thinking here about everything from handmade signs to amateur and pro graffiti. These are all media as well, or mediums that attempt to transmit messages to large audiences that pass through their, the environments in which the media lives and breathes. But one thing I want to suggest is that the definition of mass media should also include planes and trains and automobiles. Anything that moves people from one part of the planet to another part of the planet should belong to our definition of mass media because humans are also mass media. Like any book or movie or magazine, humans are information storage and retrieval devices. We put information into ourselves and we take it out later. And like any radio program or online marketing campaign, we retain and distribute information either in person or through the social networking systems with which we have fused our nervous systems. Humans are media par excellence. We're the ne plus ultra of media.